Hi, and welcome to the Cars and Stuff YouTube channel. My name's Mark, and today I'm going to show you how we flipped 2004 Mercedes E500 5 litre V8 with just over 300 brake horsepower and 75,000 miles. So I was scrolling through eBay and Facebook just to see what cars are out there. Um, I generally buy from BCA um, or car auctions locally, um, but I thought I'd have a look um, on Facebook and eBay. I came across this E500 um, on the off chance. Really like the look of it. It had some paint um, work that needed rectifying, so I took that into consideration um, as well. Now the guy had his number advertised as well, so I gave him a quick call. Um, he seemed a really nice, genuine, down-to-earth guy. He was just upgrading his car. Um, he wasn't too fussed about the, the paintwork. It was just making sure, mechanically, um, it was all good because he needed it for work. He wasn't too far either, um, only in Oxford, which is about an hour or so from me. So I've got my other half to give me a lift, and off we went. So upon arrival, um, he actually worked next door to a Fiat dealership. Um, where he did a lot of the work there himself um, using the ramps, which is quite handy. Um, so so had a look around, took it for a test drive, and it was a really nice car. Really liked the way it drove, all the electrics work, and honestly, it just drove like a dream. Just to mention as well, obviously before I arranged a test drive, um, I looked through the MMT history, did a HPI check, just to make sure it hadn't been in, in any accidents or write-offs or anything like that. And it came back all clear. So once I was happy, um, I gave him £2,500. That was a deal we um, arranged after the test drive. And off we went. Now, there was barely any fuel in the car. So um, I thought, I'll top it up, put a full tank in there. So I wasn't too sure how long that would last um, in this 5 litre V8. So a full tank of fuel cost me £155. But because I had quite a bit of margin in this, um, I took that into account anyway. So an hour later or so, um, arrived home, trouble-free driving, absolutely drove spot on. So I called up my local body shop to book it in to get the paint rectified. So it was with them for about a week or so. Just before I took it to the body shop, I did notice I had a slight oil leak coming from the oil filter. Um, the, the seal has been perished and I think whoever serviced it um, did the oil filter up too too tight so it just needed the seal replacing so it was just cheaper to buy the oil filter um, and replace it myself and then that got rid of the oil leak so a week later brought it back from the body shop um, gave it a wash polished it took some photos and advertised on ebay it did take slightly longer than what i thought it would be to um, get any interest in it um, so I think I advertised it three times in the end on eBay and eventually I had a couple of inquiries, one of which was a guy from London. So we had a quick chat on the phone. He seemed like a nice, genuine guy. Um, he arranged to come down and take it for a test drive um, a few days later. So yeah, once he arrived, um, took it for a test drive. He was over the moon, really delighted with the way it drove, the way it looked. I had it advertised at four and a half thousand um, pounds. We come to a deal at four three fifty, um, just because I had a couple of gaps in the service history um, and I had quite a bit of margin in it anyway. So yeah, he drove her back to London, dropped me a text just to make sure that he got home okay, and he was really happy with the way it drove as well, which is brilliant news. So let's go over the total cost then really. So the car cost me two and a half thousand pounds. The body shop was six hundred pounds. Fuel £155, oil and oil filter £39, three eBay listing fees totaling £51, um, bringing that total to £3,346. I sold it for £4,350, bringing that a total profit of £1,004. So just to make sure it's worthwhile, always calculate how many man hours you put into this. So for example, um, it was a three hour round trip to Oxford that includes the test drive and so on. One hour round trip to the body shop. Obviously I haven't taken into consideration the work put into that because I didn't do it myself. One hour buying and fitting the oil and oil filter. Three hours washing, polishing and taking pictures. Totaling eight hours. So if you find £1,004 profit by eight hours, you come out at £125.50 per hour. 
which isn't too shabby. And again, you know, this could be a lot worse. It could be a lot better. It all depends on your personal circumstances. But because I've got a full-time job as well, I just kind of work around that. And any money I make is a bonus. So that's it for this video. A fairly simple process. Um, I will make more videos, hopefully with a bit more detail to come as well. Happy to hear anything you think I've, you know, kind of left out or any video ideas you'd like me to do in the future. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.